Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain another example on Fourier series expansion. See the statement. Obtain Fourier series expansion of mod x. Here given function is modulus of x on open interval minus pi comma plus pi. And also derive the 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus so on. The result is pi square by 8. Here given function is defined on open interval minus pi comma plus pi. So, whenever given interval is minus pi comma plus pi, immediately we have to verify that whether the given equation is even or odd function. Suppose given function is even function, then its Fourier series has only cosine terms. Suppose given function is an odd function, then its Fourier series expansion has only sine terms, already you know it. Okay? See, first of all, we have to write the given function. Let us represent the given function with f of x. Let f of x is equal to modulus of x. And here minus pi is less than x is less than pi is nothing but open interval minus pi comma plus pi already you know it. So first of all we are going to verify that whether this function is even or odd function. For that purpose calculate f of minus x. If f of minus x is again f of x, we should conclude that given function is more even function. Suppose f of minus x is minus f of x, then it is odd function. Okay. See here, f of minus x is nothing but in this function whenever we have x blindly replaced by minus x. So, modulus of minus x. But what is modulus of minus x? It is x x can be written as modulus x. What is modulus of x given function? So, for all x belongs to given interval minus pi comma plus pi. Okay. So, here we are uh, obtained f of minus x is equal to plus f of x. So, we conclude that f of x is equal to mod x is an even function is an even function. So, Fourier series expansion of Fourier series expansion of f of x has only cosine terms. Do not forget this. Has only cosine terms. So, what is the formula for this? Fourier series expansion of f of x becomes some a naught by 2 is the first term plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos n x. <laughs> this is the required Fourier series expansion. So, here it is enough to calculate a naught by 2 value after that a n value. What is the formula for a naught? Here a naught is equal to 2 by pi because here we are using the even and the odd concept. Suppose given function is even, Fourier series has only cosine terms. In that case, you should write a naught as 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx. Okay, replace the <coughs> sorry, replace the value of f of x 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x is nothing but given function modulus of x into dx. Here, what is the range of x? Here, range of x is 0 to pi. If x is 0 to pi, then modulus of x is only x. According to the definition of modulus of x, if x value is positive, then mod x is always x. So, it is enough to write the integration of x 2 by pi integral 0 to pi. Or, uh, sorry. We are going to write the integration. So, integration of x is simple x square by 2 within the limits 0 to pi. Okay. Here this 2, this 2 gets cancelled 1 by pi into after applying upper limit minus lower limit you will get only pi square. By applying lower limit it is minus 0, it is not necessary to write minus 0 here 1 pi again gets cancelled. So, what is the a naught value? a naught value is simply pi. But what is our first term in the series? 
a naught by 2. So, that is why divide with 2 on both sides a naught by 2 is equal to pi by 2. Next, it is enough to find out the value of a n. What is the formula for a n here? Here also a n is equal to 2 by pi, do not write 1 by pi because we are applying even and odd concept here. 0 to pi f of x into cos n x dx. So, replace the value of f of x here 2 by pi integral 0 to pi what is f of x modulus of x into cos n x dx. So, we have to change this modulus of x according to the definition of modulus of x. If x is greater than 0 mod x can be replaced by simply x. Suppose x is less than 0 then mod x is minus x ok. 2 by pi integral 0 to pi mod x is nothing but x only ok. Here I will give the modulus of x definition also c mod x is equal to x if x greater than 0 it is minus x if x less than 0 according to this I am replacing mod x is equal to simply x here. Now, we have to apply integration by parts formula integral uv rule. So, 2 by pi into bracket open what is integral uv rule already we discussed in previous problems also u into v1 v1 is nothing but integration of v minus u dash into v2 v2 is nothing but integration of the previous entire v1 term and u dash is nothing but derivative of the first term plus alternatively you will get positive negative positive and so on. We continue this formula until to get the first derivative of the sorry derivative of the first term is 0 ok. <coughs> x into what is the integration of cos n x sin n x by n minus derivative of x is simply 1 and uh, you have to write integration of this entire part integration of sin n x is minus cos n x by n but already here we have another n. So, you will get minus cos n x by n into n n square next derivative of 1 is 0 0 into anything is 0 that is why formula is completed. So, integration is over it is enough to substitute the values of pi no, sorry substitute the values of limits 2 by pi into whenever we have x replace it by pi pi into sin n pi what is sin n pi in previous problems also we discussed about sin n pi and cos n pi whenever we have sin n pi we should replace it by 0 and whenever we got cos n pi it is nothing but minus 1 whole power n. So, by applying upper limit pi here the first term becomes pi into sin n pi sin n pi is 0 0 into anything is 0 minus into minus plus cos n pi cos n pi is nothing but minus 1 whole power n denominator has n square minus now replace lower limit x is 0 here 0 into anything 0 minus here minus minus plus becomes we have another minus here cos 0 is 1 1 by n square ok. So, we are observing that this a n becomes in the denominator both parts has n square. So, write the write that n square to outside 2 by pi n square this is minus 1 whole power n minus 1 is the remaining term this is the value of a n already we got a naught by 2 as pi by 2 we should replace this a naught by 2 value and a n value in the Fourier series formula ok. Please see. Now, substitute the values of a naught by 2 and uh, a n in equation number 1. So, from 1 implies left hand side is f of x, f of x is nothing but our given function mod x first term is a naught by 2 it would be pi by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n what is a n 
2 by pi n square of minus 1 whole power n this I am replacing the value of a n in the product we have cos n x do not forget to write cos n x here this is our required Fourier series expansion of modulus of x at the given interval minus pi comma plus pi after this from this Fourier series expansion of modulus of x we have to derive a deduction for the deduction what is the deduction 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square and so on is equal to pi square pi square by 2 we are going to prove this one now for direction replace x is equal to 0 there is no particular rule to deduce the given deductions so we have to check that first of, first of all we have to replace x is equal to 0 if we do not get x by putting x is equal to 0 the given deduction then we have to replace x is equal to pi by 2 next x is equal to pi by pi only ok we have to verify it there is no particular rule to reduce the given deductions ok so by replacing x is equal to 0 this term becomes modulus of 0 modulus of 0 is nothing but 0 plus pi by 2 plus here 2 by pi is the constant term right outside from the summation what are the remaining terms summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square whole into minus 1 whole power n minus 1 what is cos 0 we are replacing x is equal to 0 here cos 0 is 1 so we do not have any trigonometric term here simply we have 1 take this pi by 2 to left side you will get minus pi by 2 is equal to 2 by pi is there and expand this series expand series means replace n is equal to 1 you will get first term replace n is equal to 2 you will get second term replace n is equal to 3 you will get third term and so on ok open your bracket by replacing n is equal to 1 what about this term minus 1 whole power 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 I am replacing n is equal to 1 so you will get 1 square this is the first term now replace n is equal to 2 1 by 1 so 1 by 2 square and this is minus 1 whole square minus 1 whole power 1 is minus 1 minus 1 whole square is 0 minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 and minus 1 whole power 4 is 1 plus 1 sorry this is plus 1 simple thing suppose the power of minus 1 is odd number then it is minus suppose power of minus 1 is even then it is plus 1 so here you will get 1 minus 1 it is 0 by replacing n is equal to 3 you will get minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 again by replacing n is equal to 4 which is even number that is why you will get 0 next term is minus 2 by 5 square plus 1 so minus pi by 2 minus 2 is the common term from the numerator 2 2s are 4 minus sign is there minus 4 by pi so 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus so on up to infinite number of terms minus minus gets cancelled take this pi to this side and uh, take this 4 to denominator so pi into pi pi square 4 2s are 8 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus so on up to infinite number of terms this is very very important problem so please practice well if you have any doubts please uh, contact me through my whatsapp number already you know the my whatsapp number double nine one two eight nine one five nine one okay thank you very much in the next video i will give some more examples on even and odd problems okay